Hello everyone and welcome to Full Circle Healing Teas and Tarot. My name is Sarah C. I hope everybody had a um, joyous Christmas, um, spending time with your family, friends, the people you love, enjoy spending time with. Hope you all uh, got the things that you wanted out of uh, your holiday season. Set your intentions. So anyway, um, we are here at the Cancer Full Moon right after Christmas. Um, still celebrating Yule. I have uh, <clears throat> completed, uh, finally, decorating my altar and card table. I'm pretty excited about it. So I got, uh, I'll show you here, I've got some uh, holly. And I got some pine and some Christmas decorations, Yule decorations, pretty lights. Trying to bend this thing back. There we go. I'm getting festive. A little bit here and there. Keep this up until uh, after New Year. Easy celebration. Maybe longer. I love the lights. But anyhow, um, so today I was feeling red. Um, power and strength and um, flow and movement. Um, I was feeling messages yesterday, but I was exhausted. So, um, also if any messages are gonna come through today, I figured red would be a good color for me. So, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, this is a candle for intent. The rest of the candles I lit are all for uh, well-being, for spirit, for thankfulness. Um, blessings, health and happiness, um, so that I may have sight and feel and hear everything um, that the spirits are trying to give me so that I can give you the messages that you need to hear today. So I'm going to start with this is my little carving tool, by the way. You can use whatever you need. But what I like to do is carve runes into my candles. And today I like movement and growth and breakthrough. Also want a little bit of protection and fertility for any of our intent, my intent, um, so that uh, it, it can uh, flourish. Strength, I did say strength. Love the joy, I'm gonna stick some joy in there. So, yeah. I think those are pretty good. You can do this, uh, you can carve runes into uh, any candle that you like. You can look up the meanings to any color candle, what they represent, the meanings, and their uh, meanings and correspondences to different holidays or um, spell work that you're doing and they can be very useful and helpful Okay, so now that uh, These candles are carved And set to go I'll tell you what I did real quick if you weren't quite sure um, 
move this one over. I did uh, movement, which is here. I did growth, which is here. I did joy, which is here. You can see that. So that would be joy. Um, I did protection over here. And let's see. That would be this guy right here. Looks like a chicken leg. Um, I did strength, which is here. I did strength. And I did fertility. If you want things to happen. Um, let's see. And I did the self. I did the self because we want to always improve on ourself. Um, I did love, money. I did the pentagram for my spirits. I wrote, uh, I can find it now, the word C and an I. I carved in an I, um, like a third I for myself to open it up so that when I'm reading today, I may see and um, be able to do my predictions, um, some timelines, and do my collective readings for everyone accordingly. So that's that candle. I'm very happy about that. Um, I have some patchouli. Whoops. I have some patchouli. It's fragrance oil, but I am still going to use it nonetheless. What I'm gonna do, it's a roller. I don't have much left, I gotta order some more. I'm just gonna roll some of this patchouli oil and anoint this candle. I love patchouli. So, whatever you prefer to use, correspondence, if you know, you're doing particular things. I've used peppermint oil, rosemary oil today. I'm feeling patchouli. Love the smell, rub some on myself. So there's that. And uh, I did something for myself here. Um, with this one. And that's gonna go, that's gonna go over here. This one will go in here. some incense. 